Theta Lyrae, Zero Lear, is a star in a trinary star system in the constellation of Lyra, approximately 770 light years away from Earth. Theta Lyrae is an orange, bright, giant star of the spectral type K011, which means that it possesses a surface temperature of about 5,000 kelvins and is many times bigger and brighter yet cooler than the Sun. I wasn't able to get a clearer one than this for this one. It's beautiful, it's just that there's some red lines of enhancing. Anyways, it doesn't matter. This is the original shot, guys. We're in the constellation of Lyra. We're looking deep into the constellation of Lyra. The yellow one in the center is zero Lyra, theta Lyrae. Over top, the blue one is N Lear, the star N Lear, part of the subsystem all around Theta Lyrae. Now we can see here on the left, Zero Lear and N Lear. We're leaving the constellation of Lear now, over to the center, 13 Lear and 16 Lear. Look at the bottom, we see uh, the constellation of Hercules to the right, um, Draco constellation, Cygnus constellation coming up over top. Uh, another nice photo that you will see another angle and a different orbit um, position of these two stars that are next to one another. You'll see coming up N Lear over top and Zero Lear. To the right side of the photo, Gamma Draconis, also known as L Tannen a star in the northern constellation of Draco. Gamma Draconis is the brightest star in Draco at a magnitude of 2.4, outshining Rastaban by nearly half a magnitude. Right now in the constellation of Draco, the star Eltanen is about 150 light years from Earth, but it's moving toward us in a hurry. In a million and a half years, it'll pass less than 30 light years away making it one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Altanen is one of a trio of orange giant stars in the northernmost sky. NGC 6791 Celestial North is to the left. It is an open star cluster in the Lyra constellation. It was discovered by Frederick August Theodore Winnick in 1853. This is, by the way, a real shot, deep field shot view of the constellation of Lyra. All my photos and always my photos will be of my own photos. I will never ever put any photos of NASA in my videos, ever. A beautiful attempt at researching the stars for you to make it all the much more interesting. So now maybe we will see some truth about the star clusters. And I find this star cluster looking very interesting. That's all I'll say. Gamma Draconis and Simbad, the yellow star, Altanen, the blue star, 30 DRA. I'm just trying to bring you guys of you and people that are curious know what the stars look like up close so I'm just trying to give you guys uh, a clue and these photos what we're looking at right now every single star that you see or dot are not pixels my friends they are the proper coordinated planets and or stars galaxies nebulas you name it
And this is what it looks like with a regular snapshot out of a camera when you're able to get the star. And this is what it looks like to the naked eye. It's very hard to tell that there are nebulas, etc., in, in a deep field uh, far behind. But nonetheless, I was able to get some. So this yeah, is the original right, picture. Right here underneath. You. Put a darker, just a dark cover over the lens a little bit. Gets rid of the feedback and we can move it a little bit more. See the star. DRA, 30 drinks all right underneath. And the constellation of Draco. In the constellation of Draco, we see 30 DRA. A little bit about it, it's a double or multiple star. So in the same photo we have El Tannen, 30 Draco underneath. The constellation of Draco, and then we go over to the constellation of Lyra here, and we see these two. Zero Lear. The one over top is N Lear. Over to the right, constellation of Draco, El Tannen on the top, yellow. Underneath 30 Draco in the constellation of Draco and 30 Draco is a multiple star.